In this video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up a dedicated satisfactory server on Windows for the 1.0 release. So let's dive in. Step 1. Download SteamCMD. First, open your browser and search for SteamCMD. Click on the first link and download the Windows version by selecting the appropriate link. Once downloaded, extract the contents of the zip file. Step 2. Prepare the server folder. After extracting Steam CMD, move the folder to your preferred location. I recommend organizing by creating a new folder named Servers in your C colon drive. Inside the Servers folder, paste the Steam CMD folder. Now create another folder in the Servers directory and name it Satisfactory. Step 3. Install the Satisfactory server via Steam CMD. Open the Steam CMD executable from the extracted folder and let it initialize. Once initialized, copy the path to your satisfactory folder created earlier. In the Steam CMD window, type the following command to begin the server installation. Next, log in as an anonymous user. Now, you'll need the satisfactory server app ID, which is 16908000. Type the following command to download and install the satisfactory server files. The installation may take a while, depending on your internet speed. Once completed, Exit Steam CMD by typing. To allow connections to your server, you'll need to open specific ports in your Windows firewall. Open the Start menu and type Firewall, then select Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. In the Firewall, click on Inbound Rules and then New Rule. Choose Port and click Next. Select TCP and input the port 7001, then continue with the default settings. Name the rule something like Satisfactory TCP, so you got it by name. Repeat the process, but this time select UDP and again enter 7001. Name this rule Satisfactory UDP. Navigate to the Satisfactory folder where you installed the server. Double-click on the Satisfactory server.exe to start the server. If prompted, install any necessary dependencies like DirectX by following the on-screen instructions. Once the server is running, open Satisfactory on your client PC. In the game, go to Server Manager and click Add Server. Input your server's local or public IP address along with the default port, 7001. Confirm the certificate and give your server a name. Set an admin password if needed and then create a new game or load an existing one. If you want friends outside your local network to join, You'll need to port forward 7001 for both TCP and UDP in your router settings. Share your public IP address with your friends so they can connect to your server. And that's it. Your satisfactory dedicated server is now up and running on Windows.